Hey students, it's Miss Bongiorno and welcome back to another language arts video lesson. We are currently learning in Wonders Unit 5 Week 1. The theme of this week is Watch it grow. How does your garden grow? And the essential question is what do living things need to grow? This is a very important subject. However, it's not my favorite time of year to teach this particular thing because, well... We're in the middle of winter and there's not a whole lot growing right now. But don't worry, kindergartners, we will learn all about plants and growing and life cycles a little bit later when it's a little bit warmer. Instead, let's focus our attention on our weekly letter and weekly sight word. We've learned quite a few words. Read them out loud with me and then we'll talk about our new one. Go, do, we, you, and, I like a the can to see. And then the latest one is my. M Y my. Look. I've changed the word my into a monster holding ice cream. M Y. As for letters, we are studying the letter H. I am the letter H, the hero of the robot world. Let's first talk about the word my, how to spell it, how to read it, and what it means. M, Y, my. M, Y, my. My toy. My water bottle. Da -da 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 -da. My horn. My papers. My pens. My chameleon. My dessert. My stickers. My. 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 My, my, my. Don't you think that word is a little bit selfish? No, I'm teaching the kids about my, which is a pronoun used to describe ownership and belonging. Our, a word used to describe when something belongs to you and other people, like when you share. For example, my snack. How about our snack, my snack, our snack, my snack, our, my,
Okay, we both did that. That's our mess. Drew, we'll clean it up together. But this is still my video, right kids? My? Okay class, now let's talk about the letter H. A reminder that this is the uppercase letter H and this is the lowercase letter H. The uppercase letter H is made up of two straight lines from top to bottom with a smaller line connecting them in the middle. The lowercase h, we start with one straight line from top to bottom, then we kind of go back up to that mid line, that mid dotted line, and just make a little hunch, a little bump. Some people might say that the uppercase letter h looks a little bit like a and some might say that the lowercase h looks a little bit like a horse. And both of those things start with h. You can spot the letter H at the beginning of some words and in the middle of some words, but you'll almost never see the letter H at the end of very many words, especially in the English language. Let's talk about how we can see it and hear it at the beginning of words and in the middle. Let's use our Elkonin boxes to hear each sound and we'll listen closely for the Let's look at this picture. What is it called when you put your arms around someone in a friendly way? Yeah, that's a hug. Let's sound out the word hug. Listen for the uh, g. Where did you hear the sound? That's right. The sound was at the beginning of the word which means that it starts with H. Whoa, what is that thing that all those bees are swarming around? That's right, it's a beehive. Let's sound out the word beehive and listen for the in there. B, E, I, V, beehive. Where did you hear the h? That's right, the h sound is in the middle of the word beehive. For those of you who think this is too easy, here's another thing that's interesting about the letter H. The letter H can be put with other letters to make brand new sounds. For example, we know that the letter C makes what sound? I am C and I say K. And we know the letter H makes what sound? I am H and I say H. But when you put these two alphabets together, they make the ch, ch sound. CH says ch, ch, ch. What sound does the letter S make? I am S and I say S. And when you put the S with the H, Together, they make the shh sound. S-H says shh, shh. All right, kids, I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching and continue to practice learning all about the letter H and the sight word my.